Welcome to Great to Glory, where I take my unpainted armies and get them ready for the tabletop. And for my Cities of Sigmar army, I'm going to show you how I painted up the Steel Helens from Fair Farig. I picked the Sergeant at Arms from the unit to paint, and to start off the base colours, I went to two thin layers of Calgar blue on the clothes, the armbands, and on the shield. This blue is one of the main colours of the army. Then I moved on to the pants and the boots and used the bat and black. I wanted a light brown look for the legs, the pouches, the belts and any of the straps, so I went with bane blade brown first. For the armour, top of the melee weapon and the metal parts of the shield, lead belcher was used. For the other main colour of the army, which is white, I used red bone on the cloth, part of the helmet and the flat part of the shield. The melee weapon's handle was painted with catechin flesh. For his face and hand, I based him with Kislev flesh. For the final base coat, I used Retributor armour for the trim on the helmet and the decorative part on the very top. Next is my favourite part of painting, the shading. And I started off with shading Bane Blade Brown with the contrast paint skeleton horde. For the metal parts, I went with the obvious choice of Null and Oil. I didn't want to darken the blue too much, so I went with tracking off Nightshade all over the blue parts. It's not too dark, but it's not too light, it's just a nice colour to go over Calgar blue. Good old Agrax was then used to shade in the melee weapons handle. For the white parts on the clothes and the shield, I went with Apothecary White to tone it down a bit. The final shade was on the skin and I picked Reikland Flesh Shade for it. With the bulk of the work done, it's time to add the finishing touches. Starting off with the light brown, I carefully highlight the edges with a sharp bone. For the silver, I use Stormhole Silver to brighten up the edges of the armour, the weapon and the metal parts of the shield. To brighten the blue back up, Rust Grey is the perfect colour for the job. I almost forgot about his pants and boots, so I broke out Administratum Grey and worked it along the edges. I used Pallid Witch Flesh to brighten up the white on its highest parts and on the edges. To finish off the skin, I went back to Kislev Flesh and added small parts on it to bring the face more to life. For the final touch, I dry brushed the weapon handle with Catechin Flesh to brighten up its edges. After finishing up the base with cabbage and flesh, an Agrax Earthshade wash and a dry brush of Tyrant Skull, the Sergeant at Arms is the final part of the Steel Helms unit. This unit is the backbone of Halia's army and the defenders of the 8th district. This is the second unit of Steel Helms in the army. The first is this unit of Empire Swordsmen that I painted up a while back now. So the idea of this army, or at least using this colour scheme, goes back way before the newest Cities of Sigma release. With a good chunk of the backbone painted, I'm going to switch it to just a single model next time. Because I've been dying to paint up the Alchemite Warforger. But if you guys like this video and want to see how I get on with painting up the rest of this army, make sure to hit the like button, comment and subscribe if you haven't. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.